Welcome everybody, my name is Kirk Masters. I am going to be demonstrating some of the most important things that you will be doing with your marketing. And to facilitate that, we're going to be using Infusionsoft. Uh, you're seeing a home page now of a typical Infusionsoft application. This is a, an application that's owned by a surf company, fictional of course, but there it is. Four things that you have to have as a business owner that will make or break what you're trying to do in regards to expanding your business or just staying afloat. First and foremost is you need to be able to have email marketing combined with letters and faxes and voice broadcasts if you so choose, but at least email marketing has to be specifically moving forward in regards to helping people stay aware of what you're doing. Um, you need a new customer campaign, a lead warming campaign, and a long-term drip campaign. I'm going to go through a couple of these. Uh, but we're going to be focusing on a roadmap that we take our clients down. And specifically, this roadmap talks about how you're going to create the automation inside Infusionsoft and why it's important to have the next generation of automation inside of your emails. Specifically, let me overview how the automation works inside Infusionsoft, so our secret sauce, if you will. You have a marketing campaign. Uh, you, maybe you're using an autoresponder, and you've got seven emails that go out over the course of three weeks or four weeks, whatever it might be. Each one of those emails has some specific call of action inside of it with Infusionsoft. Email one goes out, and it might have all of your copy in it that you so you know work so hard to create. But there's going to be call of actions in your emails, different from what you're doing now. You'll have a call of action similar to this. Click here if you're interested in the color red. Click here if you're interested in the color blue. Click here if you're interested in the color yellow. So you give people these choices of things that they can do inside your emails. What you're specifically looking for is you want to know who's interested in what color so you can market appropriately to those people. The last thing you want to do is send out a generic broadcast email that's not relevant for, for everybody uh, because that just ends up messing people up in, in, with your marketing and it gets them mad and annoyed and opting out. So email one goes out. Again, we're asking for these choices on the different colors. Most everyone's going to ignore it. Email two goes out, same idea, a little different on the copy, but most people are going to ignore it. Maybe by email three, somebody says, you know what, I'm just going to click on this link and tell them what I'm interested in because I am interested in the color red. Now the minute I click on the color red, different things need to happen. Obviously, I don't want to get any more marketing from emails four, five, six, and seven telling me that I need to click on the link telling me what I'm interested in. I've clicked on the color red, so Infusionsoft says, aha, the color red's been clicked on. I'm going to stop the marketing campaign getting that person to click on the color. I'm going to start a new color campaign about the color red, and I'm going to do all the different actions that need to happen in regards to updating my salespeople, updating people who refer business to me. All these things need to happen. That is marketing automation, giving people the choice on their marketing of what they want. You also need to have a lead warming campaign, a web form on your site that allows people to start opting into your marketing and getting them to move into your pipeline where you can start dripping on them. You need a new customer campaign so that when they do come on board, they're getting branded into your marketing, into your message, into your business, and getting referrals drawn out. Nurture campaign is fairly self-explanatory. You're going to be staying in front of the people who haven't done anything, and you want to be able to have bubble up later on because you're going to give them great information once every once every month or twice every month telling them why they need to buy your product. So let's go forward and look at how you create the automation inside of the emails because that is fundamentally, no matter if you use Infusionsoft or not, the next piece of the puzzle that is allowing you not to be efficient in your time. So we're going to click on Setup and go to Template Library. And we're going to create a brand new email. So imagine this is email one of many. And we're going to start from scratch. And we're going to call this getting to know you email. Maybe it's somebody you met for the first time at a convention or wherever it might be. Uh, what are you looking for? I always like to put my name in there. Now, we're going to create a plain old HTML email. And we're going to use our classic drag and drop, our drag and drop builder. And this is what a plain Jane looking email looks like. The first thing we do is notice that there's snippets, things we can drag over into the email. So simple drag and drop technology. Layout is the type of email. We're actually going to choose a centered email, and you see how that changes. And style is the colors. All of these things just make your life easier in regards to using Infusionsoft. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload your logo or banner. It's one of the things that we help you with here at Infusionsoft. Simple. Uh, getting your, your logo in can make a huge difference in regards to how your emails look. So I'm just going to pick one here that I know I have. I believe it's this one. Yes, there it is. 
and we're going to insert this. There's my logo. Now, this is an article. We don't really need something that fancy for just a typical standard email, so we're going to get rid of it and grab a paragraph. And I'm going to grab uh, the person's first name in the database up here on the right where it says Get Personal. Grab their custom information. A little comma, drop down. Now I can also drag my signature over that I've already created inside the software. And I can drag my social media over. So if I have Facebook and Twitter, click on Save, and it'll bring on these icons. Now, that's all good and dandy. This is the important part, and this is our secret sauce. I want to know if I'm selling swimming pools, basic, some basic information when I meet somebody. Uh, and you're going to write your copy, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about writing copy because Infusionsoft will help you in the, in the way of creation that you wouldn't have expected. If you write your call of, excuse me, if you write your call of action first, you'll find that the copy will come naturally. So let's say I want to find out if this person I'm going to be emailing wants a pool in the next month or three months. Yes, I want a pool in the next three months. Or we can say, no, I'm not interested right now. So I have two different things here. I'll have my copy introducing why I'm the best pool guy in the world and why you can learn or grab a, a good deal from me. But I want to know, hey, are you interested? Think of this like a closing statement. The hardest part of Infusionsoft is clicking this button. There, I just did the hardest thing in Infusionsoft. We want to know what happens after somebody clicks on that link. So specifically, I can send them to another web page, like a redirect. I can have them email me back directly by clicking on a link. Or I can set up a simple thank you page. We're going to have a thank you page, and we're going to have a generic looking page, kind of like this, where it says Surf Arizona, and you can change this very easily. But we're going to say something like, thanks for clicking on our link. Uh, we'll be in touch within two business days uh, to talk to you. Whoops. We'll just say to talk. Why not? We can get rid of we'll be in touch shortly. And then we can click on our website. So basically, you can customize the message you're going to put in here. We'll save this. And next, we want to know if they click on a link, what do we want to have happen? Well, we have tags inside Infusionsoft. Tags are identifiers that you put on a person's database record. The tags are important because they allow you to search for people who are looking for your specific information. So we have all these tags that people can click on, or we can click on to be able to divide out our database. So we're going to call this um, uh, pool interest three months. And we can create, we've got lots of categories, but we can create a new category, uh, pool interest, pool. We'll just say pool, because we're interested in a pool. Create this tag. Now we've got our pool. Save. And if we want, we can do many other kinds of activities. Basically, we could start a follow-up sequence, or if it was appropriate, to stop one. Send an email to somebody in the office. Assign this person out to one of our salespeople. Create an appointment. Create a task for somebody outside the office. Or maybe create an opportunity record in the sales pipeline. There's all these neat things that can be done inside Infusionsoft. Once we have our actions, we finish and close. And we'll save this link for later use. We'll just say, interested in a pool. So we can use that link later on for other emails if we want to do the same thing. And we do the same thing for no, I'm not interested. What this enables you to be able to do, and I'm just going to get rid of this for right now, what this enables you to be able to do is systematically be able to take every email you send out and allow people to tell you what they're interested in. No more or gone are the days where you're going to send out an email to your entire list, crossing your fingers proverbially, hoping that somebody's going to come back to you. Versus if you can segment out your list and find 50 people out of a list of 2,000 that specifically meet different criteria, like they're interested in the pool in the next three months, or maybe it's other things they've answered yes to, then those people are going to be more receptive to hearing your message. And that's the power of Infusionsoft. Now, that's not all that we do, obviously. This is just the, you know, the, 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 the foundation. 
you have other pieces of the puzzle. Like if they buy something on your website, are you going to use Infusionsoft Shopping Cart to be able to facilitate that part of it so the new customer campaign can start? There's many other things that we do. But essentially, what we've gone through is the first part of understanding the automation for the marketing. Why, why should a small business spend the money with Infusionsoft? Well, specifically because most businesses are leaving money on the table. And I'll leave you with this. Most companies have a website or some, some semblance of one, and they have people coming to their site. Most people with their websites allow their websites to be brochure sites. No call of action, nothing really that people can do except for either buy something or leave. With Infusionsoft, it's different. You have the ability now to create web forms that allow people to opt into your marketing with those free reports, things that allow them to be interested in your, mar your marketing message that they're willing to opt into. But fundamentally, being able to send out the emails then or thereafter, following up with that person, finding out what they're interested in, taking them down the path that allows them to be able to tell you what they're wanting. The idea is that those 95% of people who come to your site opt into your marketing and who do nothing with you. They don't write you a check. They don't pay you your bills. It doesn't mean they're not going to in two or three months. And so being able to stay in front of those people religiously will mean that those people who become ready and who do bubble up are going to be talking to you. And that's the idea of marketing automation. And you connect that in with the database that allows you to be able to search out and, fi and, and finite your list, well, it's a win-win situation. Uh, if you have more questions, you're certainly welcome to, to call or to email your, your representative who you've been talking to. And uh, you know, more in depth, we'll talk about how you can use Infusions often. There's not really a business that it doesn't work for because everybody has that fundamental need to be able to have marketing automation. Uh, again, my name is Kirk Masters, and I really do appreciate your time. Take care.